extracorporeal rhoda not on tube. The aim of this session is to teach you the principles of rhoda knot formation for extracorporeal knot tying, suturing and making endo loops. By the end of this session, you will be able to demonstrate the principles of rhoda knot formation, identify the rhoda knot as the basis for endo loop and extracorporeal knot tying. Part 1. Practicing the knot with rope. Start by tying a knot at one end of the rope so as to simulate the needle end of a suture material. Now, pass this rope through your assistant's fingers as shown. Holding the tail end of the rope in your left hand, tie a single reef knot. Next, using the same tail end of the rope in your left hand, tie two 360 degree loops going over both arms of the rope. Finally, to lock it, pass the end through the knot, only taking the left side of the rope to lock it on itself. To unlock the knot, leave the tail end of the rope and pull in the opposite direction on either side of the knot, holding the left arm of the knot and the needle end for the rope. Now you can slide it in the desired position and lock the knot by pulling on the two ends. Now watch an animation demonstrating this process to reinforce your understanding. <laughs> 